Hello everyone from year four. I'm reading to you the Grumpy Monkey today. Grumpy heißt schlecht gelaunt. Here's a list. I might show it to you now and then. So, there we go. On a wonderful day, Jim Pansy woke to discover that nothing was right. There's Jim Pansy. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Hmm. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you are grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, insisted, Jim insisted. On his walk, he met Marabu. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabu. Why are you grumpy, Jim, asked Marabu. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look at how you are standing, Marabu said. It's true, said Norman. You are hunched. You are all hunched. So Jim loosened up. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman said, told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim, asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They are all bunched up. So Jim raised his brow. Look at that. So then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you are feeling so grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman, whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. Finally, Jim looked happy. Look at it. He has got a smile. He's got his arms raised, his eyes wide open, no frown. But he didn't feel happy inside. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy his wonderful day. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should, you should stomp your feet, said the elephant. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone like the snake. You should laugh. You should take a nap. 
You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you so grumpy, Jim? asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. Look, all of these t animals are looking at the poor little Jim. Everybody's looking at him and he goes, I'm not grumpy, shouted Jim as, as he beat on, as he beat his chest. All the animals are looking and he stormed off. Look, he's storming off, he stormed off. Look at that. Jim felt sorry, a little sorry for shouting at everybody, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I'm grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, he came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. Look at him being slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up. He was frowning. Here's the frown. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? Asked Jim. No, I danced with porcupine, said Norman. Oh no. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. And he already felt a little bit better. There they are happy. The end. On a wonderful day, Jim Pansy woke to discover that nothing was right. 